welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I have a review for you for The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware and this comes out in August. This was one of my most anticipated books of the year so I was really excited to get approved for this from NetGalley um, and the publishing company. Um, so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to review this early. Um, so it took me like two days to fly through this book, not even. Um, I love Ruth Ware. I've read everything that she's written and I flew through this, but I do have to say that I believe this is my least favorite Ruth Ware book. Um, just because it was a lot slower than I anticipated. So this book starts off with a woman who is writing letters. Her name is Rowan and she's writing letters to a, um, it seems like a lawyer. Um, and she is trying to convince this lawyer to represent her because she is in jail for some a crime that she did not commit. She is in jail for killing a child that she was the nanny for. And it's kind of her trying to persuade this lawyer into realizing that she's innocent and that she wants her him to represent her. And she decides that she is going to tell her story because nobody else is listening to her. The police aren't listening to her. And the person that they kind of already, like, assigned to her isn't listening to her. So she's like, this is my last-ditch effort. I need somebody to hear my whole story. So she ends up telling this entire story in a letter to this lawyer. And it follows, like I said, a woman named Rowan. And she wants out of where she's living. She's living in England right now. She's living in London and she kind of wants something different for her life. So she ends up applying for this nannying job and this nannying job includes nannying for three children. And then there's also a teenager who's kind of involved, but not really. And so she decides that she's going to go for it. She tries out for this nannying position. And the reason this family is looking for a new nanny is because they have had a really hard time keeping nannies lately. Um, there's They live in a smart house, but it's kind of like an older house that's been updated to be a smart house. So there's a lot of superstitious things that are going around and that there's possibly ghosts or there's something that's not right with this house. So she ends up getting the job, obviously, and she's nannying for these three children, and things start going awry. She's hearing footsteps. She's hearing weird noises. The system is just going fluky. The children are not being cooperative. And so she's starting to think that there's something that's not right with this house. And I think that that sounds really gripping, like it sounds really great, but the way she tells this story is very slow. She tells you the ins and outs of everyday nannying life and at some points like she's because she's writing this letter to somebody and she'll be like I know like I know this doesn't seem like it has a point but I promise it does and it's like okay then just get to the point. Um, so like I felt like Ruth Ware was almost even acknowledging it in her own book that this was taking a really long time. So it felt like there was a lot of setup, but not a lot of major events that occur. Things definitely happen, but I felt like things needed to be a little bit more extreme. Especially being in a, a like smart house, it could have been so much more creepier than it was. Um, and then in the end, it kind of, the twist, I didn't see coming. I have to say that. I did not see any of the twists coming. So for that, I enjoyed the book. I And like I said, Ruth Ware has such an easy writing style that makes it really easy to get through. So I'm giving this book about 3.5 stars um, because I didn't hate it. As much as I had my issues with it, I definitely didn't hate it, but I just it didn't live up to all my other Ruth Ware books that I've really enjoyed in the past. Um, because I just think about The Woman in Cabin 10, which I was so gripped into, and I just like had to find out what was going on. And reading, um, I don't know, all her other books, like I just felt like there was such a different tie to it than there was in this one. And it's interesting because I know The Death of Mrs. Westway was not a big hit with everybody because it was slow, so I kept trying to give this book a chance. I was like, well, that was really slow, and I gave that one five stars. Maybe this one will turn it around by the time the twist happens. And it just didn't give it that big oomph that I wanted, so it's hard to put it, like, finger on, like, what was, like, the biggest issue. I just felt like I needed more 
scare factor. I needed more edge of my seat factor um, than I really got from this story. Um, but other than that, I do recommend this. I feel like there are people who are going to absolutely love this book um, because it, it is different. It is something that's going to keep you wanting to find out what's going to happen. It is a twist that you don't necessarily see coming. Um, so I definitely think that people will definitely enjoy this. So if you've enjoyed Ruth Ware in the past, I would definitely check this book out. If you have not enjoyed her in the past, I'm not sure if this one will do it for you. But um, definitely it was, I'm glad that I read it. It's still a book that I have pre-ordered and I will definitely still be getting it when it comes out. And I want to say, I'm so bad. I should, I looked up the date and then I did something else. So I forgot when it actually comes out. Let me check really fast. Sorry about that. This book is released on oh, this book is released on I pre-ordered it so long ago it doesn't even want to pop up. Hold on. Um, it comes out August 6th. Sorry about that. I literally pre-ordered this over six months ago, so it wasn't popping up. Um, but yeah, I think that you would really enjoy this one if you like mystery, if you like it to be a little bit slower paced, if you like nannying, because that's definitely a trope that I feel like a lot of people like, you would definitely like this book. So go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys really soon. Bye, everybody.